Jason Knapp, Ken Certo, and you back here at Assembly Hall in Indiana. The 2006 Big Ten Championships continue. The championship bout at 141 pounds. Andy Simmons of Michigan State hooking up with Ryan Lang of Northwestern. Simmons looking to follow in the wrestling steps of his brother Nick, who just won a Big Ten championship a couple of bouts ago. Andy second in the Big Tens last year, lost to Josh Chirella in the championship round. Ryan Lang took out Chirella, the number one seed here in the semifinals earlier this weekend. He, as I mentioned earlier, took him down early and turned him with a spiral half, went up 4-0 and just controlled the tempo from there out. So this is a big one right here. Both these guys are tough on top. Look at the Lang he dumps him. That was nice technique. This is what he uses. He likes the half. Look, he's got it in there deep already. Simmons is peeling it. That was good. Good job by Andy Simmons to peel that half off. Lang is very tough on top of the half. Simmons is very tough on top of legs and bars. We talked Chirella winning. 7-3 over, or excuse me, Lang winning 7-3 over Chirella in the semifinals. As we see these guys have racked up points, 2-1 in favor of Northwestern right now. Yep, Northwestern's Lang went out there and took control of that early cake down, dumped him, ran that half, and that's what he ran Chirella over with yesterday, but Simmons was ready, stopped, and then Lang cut some loose, so we're up on our feet at 2-1. Hey, these, this, this bro these Simmons brothers, they've been around at it forever. They're committed, and uh, it's paying off. They're hard working, and then the, we got it coming up, guys. Don't leave the television because the Schlaters and Terrapellis are coming up next at 49-57. Dustin Schlater is going against Troy Terrapelli at 49, and Alex Terrapelli against C.P. Schlater at 157. That's the University of Minnesota Schlaters versus the Illinois Terrapelli. Well, these two guys have met the season two times. Lang won early in the year, but Simmons got a little revenge pinning Lang in a dual meet February 10th. 2-1 the score here in favor of Ryan Lang of Northwestern. Came in as the five seed, ranked eighth nationally. Andy Simmons, the two seed here at the Big Ten Tournament, and number five in the nation in the NWCA rankings. Very closely matched up. That's a nice shot by Simmons, but he got two extended. Lang's got the front head lock, front chest lock, and he's got the head. He's got to pull him down. Look for the trip, though. Look at his right leg. Simmons is going to bear hug him. Simmons has got a nice bear hug. He's going to finish this. He's, he's a stud right here. Oh, good hip by good hip wizard. Lang, nice job. We got oh. good wrestling by both men right there. Like Mac Ryder, Andy Simmons can bear hug him really well. Lang did a good job using his wizard there to fend off that bear hug on the edge of the man. Lang, product of St. Edward in Ohio, one of the top high school wrestling programs in the country. Fourth here at the Big Tens last season. And Simmons second, as we mentioned, lost to Josh Girella, went on to finish sixth at the NCAA tournament. You know, everybody around in the Big Tens has great success in high school. But we're seeing some of the cream of the crop here today. Both of these guys are four-timers. I was at the Ohio State Championship when Ryan Lang won his fourth state championship. There was 20,000 people giving him a standing ovation. It was a tremendous honor. Him and C.P. Slater, who's coming up later, they both won their fourth state title that year. It was an incredible, incredible situation. You look at the matchups there this weight. This weight is packed. Either of these guys could be NCAA champion. Gallic from Iowa State, Weir from Oklahoma. They're the, they're the front runners. But either of these guys could be the NCAA champion two weeks from now in Oklahoma City. This, this weight is very nicely balanced. And Simmons here working on top on Ryan Lang. Simmons with three bouts here. One is opening pigtail mount. 8-0 over T.J. Enright of Ohio State. Then a 9-4 win over Manuel Rivera of Minnesota. And then took care of Alex Sertzis 6-2 in the semifinal. Simmons, like we saw earlier against Lang, almost got nailed by Sertzis early, but rebounded the post that victory. Simmons is like legs in and a two-on-one. It's a, like a high gut wrench tilt. It's become more popular the past few years. Jason Powell from Nebraska used it a few years ago in the NCAA Finals against Kyle Ott. and turned him like the top a couple times. And the Simmons brothers use it really well. They put the leg in and they get a two-on-one high gut wrench and tilt them. And we're looking at a stalemate call those. He's not going to have a chance to work any further. Simmons didn't like that, though. He was working for that back point. He wanted those back points. You see Lang from Northwestern get set. He's thinking, I gotta get out of here fast before this guy gets the legs in on me again. Lang, well, that'll.
that'll be a caution as he <laughs> jumped the gun by a bundle there underneath. I read his mind. He, he was thinking too much. And now, action continues with Simmons and Lang. They're twisting together for a couple of rolls. That's awesome. He's trying hard, but he just made, he got too overzealous. He tried to flip around three times, and Simmons was ready. And he may finish this off with a pin. Well, I don't Lang think he's really fucking hard. I don't see Lang quitting here. He's got to keep that left shoulder up. It looks like he's good. As Simmons has got to drop his chest back and tighten things up a little bit. If he can use his chin there, he's trying. Lang's staying up well. Short time left. You know, I, I really respect Lang for fighting so hard on bottom. He hit three flips in a row. It was kind of like the third time was a charm for Simmons. Simmons was ready for it. He pounced on him for these three back points. Well, it looks like Lang is going to be able to get out of this with avoiding the pin, but still three back points there for Andy Simmons. And he jumps in front 4-2 as we head to the third. Wow. Lang should have stayed more conservative, of course. You know, hindsight's 20-20. Oh, Lang's gonna kick him loose. Instead of going for his spiral half. See, I don't get it. He's really tough on top. You'd think he'd grind him on top and run that half, but he's gonna kick him loose. He needs two takedowns. He would need two takedowns. That's a difficult order. You look for him to be aggressive, though. You know he's gonna get after it. Right now, Andy Simmons also has riding time for the moment. A minute and 39 racked up. If it's a minute at the end, that'll garner him a bonus point, which could help. We saw Andy take a peek at the clock a moment ago. He's trying to find out exactly where he stands. It's 5-2 against Ryan Lang of Northwestern. You know, you don't often see back points at the highest level of college wrestling, but the Simmons brothers have many different ways to get them. And both Simmons brothers have solved the real on top, and they, they both scored back points in the Big Ten Finals. And there's Mr. Simmons looking on confidently, I might add. He's feeling pretty good about this situation. Unlike Mr. Ryder, who we saw last time, Mr. Simmons is looking in control. Look at that, Simmons has got the interhook. Can he put him down? If he was losing, he'd have some crazy moves from here, but I think right here he's going to play conservative. I see him moving and yelling. He's already seen one son win a Big Ten championship. Would like to add another for the family mantle here coming up. And they, Andy Simmons is uh, just a little over a minute away from doing just that. Yeah, you know, they almost had two last year. Andy Simmons right here. He, well, last year, Nick won, and Andy almost won. He got taken down in the final seconds by Trella, I believe. Ah, I, it's all blurry. I believe that's what happened, though. Josh Torello was victorious over Andy Simmons last year. And here Ryan Lang is trying to get some things done, but Andy Simmons, with Pop looking on, is in control. And you know what I'm remembering? Simmons was losing by one with a short time left, and he hit a shrug and had a take on Torello. I thought there was two, but they didn't give it to him. So Simmons almost won last year. It looks like the Simmons brothers are going to win here. And they are nice shot. Beautiful shot to a double leg. He's got to convert. He's got to finish. But uh, the Simmons brothers are tough on top. And you know what? The Slaters and Terrapellis, they stand out in the crowd. Not only because they're dominant on their feet, because they will ride hard. And it separates them from the crowd. And there is a two for Andy Simmons. And that may seal the deal here with under 30 seconds to go in this championship at 141 pounds. Don't go anywhere, folks. Dustin Slater versus Troy Terrapelli. Minnesota versus Illinois. The two teams fight for the Big Ten title. They are next, and it's going to be a great bout. And then their brothers will get after it in the next one. Well, we talked about three sets of brothers here fighting for Big Ten championships. The first set has got it done. Scott Simmons is a happy papa. Both of his sons have won Big Ten titles here in 2006. Andy Simmons matching his brother Nick as a champion of the Big Ten. And it's got to be sweet for him and his father after coming so close a year ago. Look at that claw right there. Lang flips. Hey, Simmons stays with him. Simmons stays with him. Third time's a charm, though. Wait for this next one. Goodbye. Simmons crossed his hips over. He anticipated he was ready. And Mr. Simmons is jacked. He's fired up. He's a proud papa. Two times over, he's proud. Uh, the
the Simmons family uh, headed back to Michigan as a happy bunch, a pair of Spartans with Big Ten championships here in 2006. Team competition 